Right. Well, this Friday we celebrate Juneteenth Day, the day in 1865 when word got to Galveston, Texas, that slaves, that slavery had been abolished and they were free. And as we look to Friday, we're hearing from influential African-American men in Milwaukee. These doctors, activists and leaders continue to have big impacts on this city this afternoon. Ryan Jenkins has a conversation with Dr. Lester Carter. And he says, you know, I've got a store, a one-man store on 24th and Burleigh that I think would be perfect for you. This has been recognized as Milwaukee's only black-owned drugstore for more than four decades. Right now, it's being remodeled, preparing to enter a new era. And the 88-year-old man who founded this store is ready to guide Carter Drugstore into its next chapter, despite everything happening in the world right now. What's the sense of marching? someplace else and destroying private property, especially in many cases in our own neighborhood, when they had nothing to do with it. Dr. Carter has seen protests and riots before. With America's racial tensions top of mind in Milwaukee, he supports peaceful marches, but he says he's upset to see some people taking advantage of George Floyd's death. When something like that happens, it gives the bad guys the idea that now is a good time to rob, steal, plunge. And from my standpoint, that has nothing to do with uh, coming to the help of the family of the people that were hurt or destroyed. The racial conversation isn't new to this doctor, but the coronavirus pandemic is a different story. After growing up during World War II, enlisting in the Navy during the Korean War, and graduating from Creighton University's School of Pharmacy, Dr. Lester Carter worked his way up from soda fountain clerk to pharmacist in Omaha, Nebraska. In the late 1960s, Dr. Carter moved to Milwaukee to help friends run a business. But when he got here, he realized this is where he wanted to start up his own shop, and the Carter Drugstore opened in 1968. I can never, ever, in all the years I've been here, can remember any type of medical issue that has the impact that this particular coronavirus is having. 47 years later, under what he calls devastating global health conditions, Dr. Carter's focus is on this shop. Our store is doing better financially and profit-wise and all those other different areas than any of their other stores, and we're the smallest. This popular druggist sold his store to the Hyatt Pharmacy Group back in 2014. That company now runs the prescription filling side of things, and 88-year-old Dr. Carter continues to offer his own natural and herbal remedies to customers. For now, he's working out of his upstairs apartment and offering curbside pickup for the first time in his life. I'm now taking care of se second, third generation. As the world begins to reopen, Dr. Carter is speaking up and sharing some advice publicly. So much emphasis has been placed on protective ways of living and, and uh, isolating yourself. From my standpoint as a medical pr practitioner, I feel why not put some emphasis on the ideas that have been beneficial throughout the years of building up the immune system. Like ditching fast food and taking a daily dose of vitamin C. If you can survive it and your body's strong enough, you can be around when so many others are gone. Advice from a man whose reputation and a more natural approach spans generations. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. 88 years old with a lot of wisdom. You mm -hmm. can watch our interview with Dr. Carter and learn about the history of Juneteenth Day in Milwaukee online right now. Head to TMJ4.com slash Juneteenth.